can you say something about the cooling? So I, I, I know Elon's using liquid cooling, I believe, in in all cases. Uh, that's a new thing, right? Most of them don't use liquid cooling. Is so, there something interesting to say about the cooling? Yeah, yeah. So air cooling has been the de facto standard. Uh, throw a bunch of metal, heat p- heat pipes, et cetera, and, and fans, right? And like that's cooled. That's been enough to cool it. Um, people have been dabbling in water cooling. Google's TPUs are water cooled, right? Um, so they've been doing that for a few years. Uh, but, uh, with GPUs, no one's ever done, and, and no one's ever done the scale of water cooling that Elon just did. Right. Uh, um, now next generation NVIDIA is, uh, for the, for the like highest end GPU, it is mandatory water cooling. You have to water cool it, but Elon did it on this current generation. Uh, and that required a lot of stuff, right? If you look at like some of the satellite photos and stuff of, of, uh, the Memphis facility, there's all these external water chillers that are sitting basically, it looks like a, it looks like a semi-truck pod thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, what's it called? The container. Uh, but really those are water chillers and he has like 90 of those water chillers just sitting outside 90 different containers, right? With water, you know, that chill the water, bring it back to the data center. And then you distribute it to all the chips, pull all the heat out and then send it back. Right. And this is both a uh, way to cool the chips, but also as an efficiency thing, mm-hmm. all right? And going back to that, like, ho- sort of three-vector thing, right, there is, um, there is, you know, memory bandwidth flops and interconnect. The closer the chips are together, the easier it is to do high-speed interconnects, right? Uh, and so this is, this is also, like, a reason why you're going to go water cooling is because you can just put the chips right next to each other and therefore get higher uh, speed connectivity, 